The Cincinnati Bengals have made their selection. Worst kept secret in sports, <laughs> but it is official. Joe Burrow, quarterback, LSU, is the number one overall pick of the Cincinnati Bengals. Joe Burrow is awesome. He could be a franchise-changing quarterback. I can't find a game from this past season where you struggle. I worked really, really hard for a long time, and it was a gradual build-up. Joe Burrow is it. Just a kid from Ohio coming down, chasing the team. LSU 42, Clemson 25. I mean, holy crap. What they did to Clemson was impressive as hell. I'm kind of speechless right now. This was fun. Heisman winner, national champion. You should have a sign that just says, watch the tape. NFL ready quarterback prospect. Joe Burrow is by far and away the best quarterback in this draft, hands down. I'm going to try to be the best player I can for whoever drafts me. Joe Burrow goes number one overall to the Cincinnati Bengals. You heard him uh, when he accepted his Heisman Trophy. Just a kid from Ohio. Yeah. Uh, a lot like you, a kid from Ohio drafted by a team from Ohio. Yeah, and, and a team that he grew up close to and near, something that I can obviously relate to. And, and this is going to be a special opportunity for him because the Bengals fans there, obviously, they're, they're dying to get back to being in relevance and competitive, and they're looking for a savior. And that's what he's going to be deemed. That's, that's the heavy part about the position that he's put himself in. When he initially went to Ohio State, I think he understood that to a degree but it didn't work out. Then he goes to LSU, and he was that saver for LSU, taking the new heights. That's the challenge now as he heads to the Cincinnati Bengals. And the good thing is they get back Jonah Williams, their first-round draft pick from last year on their offensive line. The protection should be better. If A.J. Green comes back and is healthy, with John Ross, Tyler Boyd, Joe Mixon at running back, Drew Sample at tight end, he could have some weapons to throw to, too. And this team all of a, all of a sudden could be going from 2-14 and 14 to be potentially in playoff contention. So this is a great pick by the Cincinnati Bengals, a no-brainer, really. Uh, of course, right now we don't know what's going to happen with Andy Dalton. Uh, knowing that, can, can, what can we say about when we should expect to see Joe Burrow? I mean, is he the guy from day one no matter what? They've spent actually the past month or so from someone I talked to within the organization uh, each time each week going over some concepts and things that basically were introducing the playbook to him. And so Joe Burrow is going to be very, very familiar with it. I think because of the condensed offseason, it's going to be his job right away. And I would suspect something's going to to happen with Andy Dalton in the next 24 hours if they want to try to utilize whatever leverage that they have at this point, if they want to try to trade him, and if not, he most likely would end up being released. But this is Joe Burrow's team now. Okay, let's bring in Pete Frisco, who moments ago on CBS Sports HQ proclaimed that if the Bengals pick Joe Burrow, he's going to bring a Super Bowl title to Cincinnati. I would imagine the grade for this is nothing short of an A. Oh, it's an A. It's definitely an A. And the last time uh, an Ohio quarterback went in the first round to a team in Ohio, uh, I gave that pick an A, too, and that was Brady Quinn way back in the day. This one's an A. I love this pick, by the way. I, I just think it, it, it's everything that the Bengals need to bring some stability and some success to the organization. And Brady mentioned all of that. Everything around this pick. And, you know, Brady, you mentioned the offense, but defensively, they have a really good down four now. You know, they added D.J. Reader to that front, and with Hubbard and Dunlop and Geno Atkins, they can get after the quarterback. I love where this team is headed. Uh, the Bengals have been a laughing stock for a long time. People don't stop laughing laughing at him now. I think uh, the other thing we were talking about, you know, their defense, everything, you have, to, you have to look at the division. Unfortunately, I think for the Bengals, even with this selection, even for Joe Burrow, is what he's going to be going up against. I mean, they have the Baltimore Ravens, who had the best record in the NFL last year during the regular season. That's a tough defense. Clearly, the Pittsburgh Steelers have one of the top defenses. That defense almost led them with a third-string quarterback to the playoffs last year, and I do think the Browns will be improved, so there's no doubt he has his work cut out for him. And I think the challenge for Zach Taylor is implementing a lot of the same things that he saw from the system there at LSU, and that's a lot of spread, empty formations. And that's all good at the college football level. When you have the best offensive line in college football, like LSU did last year, the Joe Moore award-winning offensive line. At the NFL, different story. It's hard to go empty that often unless you have the offensive line and a quarterback that can handle all of that. I'm not so concerned with Joe Burrow's ability to handle the offense and maybe what he's seeing. He's going to make some mistakes. He's a rookie. But that offensive line, they're going to have the most to prove, in my opinion, as far as what this offense is going to look, look like next year for the Bengals. Pete, going out there and saying that, that he's going to bring a Super Bowl title to Cincinnati, what, what's the next step that this team needs to Pete, make then this offseason? You're not going to be able to live it down, buddy. 
<laughs> well, I know, but when they win it, then I'll be everybody will say how right I was. Uh, um, look, I put my neck out there all the time, and uh, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. I, I just think this is a winner. I, I love where this organization is headed. I, you know, you mentioned the offensive line, Brady. They like some of their younger players. I, I talked to Zach Taylor at, at the Combine about, like, Michael George, a young guard who played last year. They like him. Uh, the center, Hopkins, did a good job last year. They're moving in the right direction on the offensive line. You know, they missed some picks. Billy Price has it worked out, but I do think that the group on offense is good enough around them, and I'm a big believer in Zach Taylor as an offensive coach. I like where they're heading. Joe Burrow goes number one to the Cincinnati Bengals. It's Pete Prisco giving that grade an A, giving the Bengals an A grade as he's grading every pick here in the first round tonight. Joe Burrow overall rank was number two, just behind Chase Young, who many expect to go number two to the Washington Redskins. For more on Joe Burrow's fantasy future in Cincinnati, we send it over to Amanda Guerra. All right, Chris, thank you. Uh, for more on that, we are going to bring in the host of Fantasy Football Today, Jamie Eisenberg. Uh, Jamie, you have had plenty of time to think about this. We all have for the most part. So let's talk about Joe Burrow going to the Bengals when it comes to fantasy. I know you have said that he has the potential to be a top 10 fantasy quarterback annually, but I want to look at this upcoming season. How successful can he be? He could be very successful, Amanda. You know, we saw last year. It doesn't have to be a, a week one starter and carrying your fantasy team throughout the whole season. But think about it. We got great moments from Kyler Murray. We had Gardner Minshew as a spot starter. Daniel Jones was a spot starter. You can get production from your rookie quarterback. And you heard the guy say it. I mean, he's stepping into such a great situation when you have, hopefully, a healthy A.J. Green. Tyler Boyd, John Ross, Joe Mixon, those are great weapons, and the offensive line is going to be better. The thing that concerns me about this, and it's going to concern me about all these rookies and all these guys that have changed teams, is what the offseason is going to be like. I like what Brady said, that the Bengals are already working with him to understand the playbook, but he's got to get on the field with these guys and get that rapport going right away. So hopefully we get a good performance from Joe Burrow right out of the gate. We get a preseason where we get to see him a little bit and that we get confidence for him. But I'm not drafting him as a number one fantasy quarterback. I'm drafting him as a number two guy, and I will be drafting him as one of the few number two quarterbacks that I take. I don't typically draft second quarterbacks, but he's one of the guys that I will target. I'm going to have him ranked 16th, but I can see myself moving him up a couple spots. He will not be ranked as a number one guy, but one of the high-end number two quarterbacks. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.